Hey everybody, this is Tristan, and this is a demo of the brand new e API we have from EA Sports. This is basically where we completely automate stats, no more o OCR, no more you know manual input. Uh, we now get it right from EA. Uh, what the trick is, it's all club challenge games right now, not the uh, matchmaking pin. Uh, but I'm going to give you an example of how to basically do stats with this new system. So uh, in this case, we have an actual live example that happened last night in our World Junior game. Uh, so this game right here, Sweden versus Russia, was played in Club Challenge. So I'm going to show you how anybody would take stats for this game. So you go to the league we're in, uh, you'll see my LG like you're used to. You would click input score. Uh, you're, you've, you should be pretty familiar with this. Select the game. It was uh, versus Russia. Uh, I've added this option right here where you can still choose between the old old OCR system, or you can choose the new EA API. Uh, eventually we're going to phase out the OCR, but for now you'll be able to select it. So you select the game, and we're now you pulling up the new EA API system. So uh, how this works is we have two APIs from EA. One is uh, the clubs, and then the other one is the club games. So how this works is you need to tell us what club uh, you play your game on. So we, we just need to know the name. In this case, I know that Netflix and Chill, this is exactly how they spelt it, uh, played it. Uh, we save your club name for you for the team. So, you know, if you're, if you're always playing off one team, you just put this in once, <coughs> excuse me, and it will find it. So what you have to do now is we have to basically search for all the games from this club. So when I uh, search for this team, EA told me these are all the club names that match. This is EA's API. Uh, I know in this example that this is the actual team right here. So when you click on these, it is actually finding the recent games from these EA clubs. So again, I clicked on this guy, and I found that there was these last five games played from Netflix and Chill. So uh, it brings up the last five games, and uh, we do a couple interesting things right here. So obviously we show the two teams uh, that it was. We show the score. We show the time date of when the game is played. This is EA's time date. We can't control this. Uh, we also show how many LG players that we found for the game you're looking for. So for example, uh, based on the schedule signups uh, of these two teams, we found 11 players inside this EA game. This is here to help you uh, basically uh, connect EA's game to LG's game. Now, in this example, this is actually a very good example. Uh, they had a disconnect where uh, the first period, they had to, they had a lag out, so they restarted after the first period. So uh, I know that this score is 1-1 and this one's 2-0, so I know that this is going to be the one from the periods 1 to periods to end of period 1. And then I know that this is period 1 to period, or sorry, period 2 to period 3. So what my system does that's kind of clever is it sums up all the stats from these two games into one. So you can see here it's 3 to 1, and that is the, uh, the sum up of this. Uh, even the player stats, if you look at the, this guy right here, you can see he has 2 points, 2 goals. If I turn this game off, I now see he has 1 goal and uh, from 1 point. Uh, click it again, obviously it goes back to two. So it, it kind of sums it up. Uh, we, some stats we don't get from the API is there's two things. We don't get the period stats and we don't get the team stats time on attack. Uh, so what we've done is we're just, that's all you have to input for the system is the period stats. In this case, I've already done it. And then the time on attack. So you have to put those in. So, you know, uh, Russia scored in the first. We know that they scored, both teams scored in the first. And then uh, somewhere Sweden scored two of the goals, you put that in. Uh, if it's an overtime game, you need to mark that off. That will tell us if it's an overtime loss, pretty important. So you're just doing those two things. So the other uh, case scenario right here is uh, here's a gamer tag. Uh, sorry, here's, here's the gamer tag that EA told us that it was played under. But we couldn't find this guy in our LG database. So, you know, people play sometimes on a, a tag just for a club. So if that happens, you need to then just do this, figure out who the actual user is. I'm going to say it's uh, Taves right here. And, and that's it. All you have to do is that. Hit submit score. It is now going to save it and create everything that needs to be done. And it's been done. So if I go back to the World Juniors right here, uh, there's that game that you saw. Uh, and there's all the stats. You can see the time on ice. You can see uh, the goalie stats. Uh, again, time on attack was manually done. The period stats were manually done. Everything else is completely automated. And uh, that all came from EA's new API that we have. So as you can see, input doing stats only takes a few seconds, really. You just have to connect the game. If it's just one game, you just connect the one. And then that's it. So that's our new API, guys. I hope you enjoy it, and we'll see you guys soon. Ciao.